Hello, hello, Rhoda here. Welcome to my craft room. <clears throat> Today we're going to work on a few uh, envelopes for our deep pockets in the butterfly journal. They're going to go into these deep pockets right here where two pages are glued together. And uh, I have about three of them in here, I believe. Uh, I see one there with a thumb pull. I see one here with a thumb pull. I think there was three. If there's more, that's all right. We're just making three. <laughs> so anyhow, I don't have a new journal to show you any sneaky peeks or to do a continuation of sneaky peeks along the way. So I'm going to show you this. I still haven't gotten out of the house to go see mom. <laughs> um, I know she's got one down there. So I made these a while back and this is, I really like how this turned out. This is like a die cut with overlay onto a piece of brown like that and uh, then I had rub and buff I think and I rubbed it on the just the top layer there to make that gold and it's it's actually there's a guy on that side and it's actually a magnet it's like a, a picture frame now if I wanted to have writing uh, where you could journal on the back of this I could put some uh, tea dye paper coffee dye paper or something like that and uh, you can see I, I put some washi tape in the middle here, so it was just extra strong. I wish I chose a different color, but that's <laughs> that's what I ended up with. Now, you can pull these out as well. And we've got a little bit of the outside here that was just a little extra. And um, it has like a stucco kind of a background. I really like that. And then you can write on the back. So that one goes in here. And then this one with this pretty lady. This was the first one I did, so I didn't really think about it. But the magnets will go underneath. You can see it on this one. I did put them underneath of the paper. <laughs> you can kind of see it a little bit, but not too so bad. Uh, but over here, I didn't think about it. So I just did like a, uh, a round punch circle and put on top of there. And... This also has where it'll come out, and you can see, I just put like a strip on that one, but it'll go back in there. I think I got a thumb pull on the inside of the card. Now, the way they'll work is they were to go into a journal, and I need to find one of my <laughs> ones in here that doesn't have much on it. I did this earlier, this video, and it did not turn out. It got, 11 minutes in, I started having that wiggly jiggly thing happen to it again. I think it's when my my uh, storage gets so full of videos that I've done, I don't delete them. It does that. So this is how it's supposed to look. Now it can be a pocket where you could tuck something up underneath there secretly. You could write underneath it here for secret journaling. And then put this on there nobody would know. It, it would work in that sort of a situation. So I'm going to attach the video for that at the end so you can see how I did those. Just in case you'd like to. Because this one was heat embossing. You know how you like heat embossing. <laughs> so I did a little bit of heat embossing on that with a uh, type of a stamp that I had. And I really, really like how that turned out as well. Okay. So <laughs> before... I was going to show you how I did these envelopes. <laughs> you can see they're already done. Uh, I was doing the, where you, you, what do you call that? The the dip technique or something. The, the sp sp spout technique. It's got a word. I know it does. And then it wasn't getting covered that quickly. So I started spraying it. So we're going to do that same thing with a piece of paper because I do have some big tags that I want to use. And this is a type of uh, watercolor paper. I've got it right here. I got it, I think, at Walmart. It's uh, 30 sheets. Uh, it doesn't have a poundage on it. Oh, 140 pound. There we go. So it's a really thick one. So it can take uh, all kinds of spray and water and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to show you what I did with these on here so we could use that for later. That's how we're going to do it. Okay, well, I did a, like a vintage photo -y shaded one. And then I have a, a doily for each one. Then I did a darker one. 
And then I did a uh, sort of a light pale one with prettier colors. I didn't want to do them all dark and somber, but I'm making them for, you know, the color scheme that's in the uh, butterfly journal. And that is my design team project, <laughs> though today's is not really going to have any of her stuff on it. It's just going to go into her project with her digitals and stuff. See, I got me an extra doily here, so I can show you how I did that. Because I inked them, and then I did a dip technique around the outside edge, so I'll show you that. And uh, also, these came off the top of these envelopes. They were like the sticker where you rip that off, and then you could just put it down where you won't have to lick it, you know, yuck, yuck. <laughs> so I have these left over. I don't know if I'm going to use them for anything here. I'll probably use them later. And what other items we've got is I have where I'm going to do a little collaging on one with all of these scraps of paper. Um, I have some tea bags here. I have some napkins down in here. And uh, then I have this kind of a neat uh, gift tissue that I'm just going to rip off and, and put on there. So that's how we're going to cover uh, these. And we're going to do each one a little different. And then we are going to do a little stamping on theirs too. And I have a, a stamp here. Let me pull everything over here. I'll go ahead and do this first. Now this is what it will look like. And what it is, it's a layering stamp. I'm trying to get all my pieces and parts here because I've pulled all my butterfly pieces off. Um, so that's what we have. We have... Uh, three pieces. <laughs> Trying to put stuff everywhere. Okay. It's color layering by Hero Arts. And uh, you stamp with the solid. Then you stamp with the detail. Then you stamp with the supreme detail. <laughs> so you're stamping a different color each time. Now I chose to do them as Monarch. So that's what I got going here. So let's set this over. I had some scrap paper. As you can see, I already <laughs> stamped my butterfly on there. Now this is solid. So I think it's supposed to be yellow. I no, yeah, yellow. <laughs> That's the way I did these. Um, I think I did them backward, but I'm not quite sure. <laughs> now you can make them any color. It's usually a combination of colors, so you got a pretty um, variation going. So I just kind of put them on here like that, push down. Yeah, my my other video, I have no idea what was going on. I got that darn wiggly, jiggly thing again, and it started 11 minutes in, so I had to trash it. It just wasn't going to go. <laughs> And I had all kinds of interesting stuff I was showing. I did not get to this, though. I noticed about 30 minutes in that I was wiggling. I don't know. I guess I don't look at the, the screen that often. Uh, so I had to reboot and decide to do it again. All right, that is our first one. Now, usually you'll do this on a Misty or something where you've got where you can lay your extra your, your next um, layer down on it and then get it in the correct spot I'm going to eyeball it and what I'm going to do is use that middle of his body um, thing and try to just match it up there and see how I do you don't have to have a misty I've got this other thing that's you know, see that was pretty good <laughs> you just have to gauge where it goes and then put her down all right, and then we have this one. It's going to go about right there. And it was a little off on that one, but, you know, once you put your really detailed layer on, it, you don't notice it. You don't have to worry about it then. And the colors I'm using here, this is called Morocco. These are these dewdrops. The yellowy one was the cantaloupe. And the other one I'm using is just a black. Okay. Yeah, got the dead on on that one. <laughs> okay. And then next we have the black. 
and I'm using my VersaFine. I just went ahead and decided to go with it. I'm trying not to put too much on there. And then all you have to do, I don't think I got enough black on there. I'm just going to do one with this right now, just so you can kind of see. But I also line up the body. I think he's right there. And that's what I use to guide myself. Pretty much. <laughs> I got a little bit of yellow out there. But once you cut that out, you won't see it. But yeah, that's how you do that. It's, it's a cool little stamp. I'm so glad I got it because I can make big old butterflies for things. So let's get this out of the way. And what I usually use is this cutting board I got at Walmart. It's like 2 to $3. <laughs> wasn't much. Wasn't much at all. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to take, and I'm going to show you how, how to do the ink spouncing technique first. And what you do is you'll put down some of your colors of your big ink pads, just like that. Um... These are oxides. I've got a vintage photo. We got a lot of that color in our kit or journal, I mean. Um, I've got some here that's the ink distress ink, and that's walnut stain, and a little bit of this one, which is rusty hinge. Yeah, rusty hinge. And I wanted a little wild honey. Okay, so those are the ones we're going to use for that. Now going to do a little misting with some water and you want to have you some <laughs> where's my paper towels got to have some paper towels handy and then you're going to run your finger through there kind of like that just mixing them up a little or a lot whatever you desire and then you're just going to take whichever side you want to work with and I think I'm going to go with the bumpy side. And then just lay it down there and pick up what you can. Woo! <laughs> it didn't really pick up too much, but it picked up a pretty good bit. This is exactly how you would do it with the envelope. You're just going to keep putting it on there and spreading it out. Just getting... And you're just going to pat at it, really to give you um, some texture and bounce. <laughs> All right, so let's do a little air drying. Doesn't take much. But this is about what you'll do. You'll, you'll put some more on, you'll dry it. You'll put some more on, you'll dry it. <laughs> so, and if you don't like some, you can always do like that and take it right back off again. So it's kind of, it's up to you. It's Russian roulette. Okay, we're going to put some more dark on here. Let me put some more of this finish photo. I don't feel like I got enough dark. I got some gathered twigs here. Let's try that one. Yeah, that's a darker one. We might go back and use some more of it. Okay. Do do do. No paper towel. Okay, and then we're gonna go back in here. Yeah, don't worry if you get it on the back side of anything, because you're gonna you can cover anything up you need to. Okay. See, I got a bunch of light in there, and I want to get some of that dark. There, picking up a little bit more. Now, if you just want to have fun and play and you only have ink pads, this is about how you do it. But, say, you, you do have some sprays. So, I will show you next how to do it with sprays. And I'll tell you what, it goes a whole lot faster. <laughs> a whole lot faster. Okay, I'm going to wipe that off real quick. Just so I don't have all that on the back side. And we'll stick this down and we'll show you how to do it with some sprays. Now, I've got some walnut stain and this is a oxide. I might go with this, this one first because this is spray stain. Now, the oxides always stay right on top. 
Now you want to always wipe your little nose off after you get done with it too. Just going to put us some pretty pink all around here, here, there, and everywhere. Ugh, that one's kind of clogging up on me. Okay, and it might even turn some things orange, which would be fine, fine with me. <laughs> now I'm going to do some of the dark, and we'll be able to regulate, oh, <laughs> regulate how much dark is on here by doing it early. Okay, ugh. I think I was inking all over the place. All right. Now, we got a little bit of water movement we want to have. Okay. Got a little bit going on there. Okay, now we're going to spray with some hickory smoke. It's one of my favorites because it has a little bit of light to your background. It's almost like you're doing your ink splots or... You know the white splots. <laughs> I don't. I don't do that. I don't know why, but I just don't do much. And I'm doing the distressed oxide shabby shutters. I love that one, but I just don't do much in the in the ink splots. You know, the, if somebody uses white or black all the time that I watch, and I just don't do that. <laughs> it's just not my thing. All right. We're going to see what we can do here with a little bit of drying. Now, if you want it to move some more, you give it a little bit more water. If you don't want it to move, <laughs> you don't give it water. But it will just sink into that watercolor paper a little bit. I hope everybody's doing well. It's a good time to ask you while I'm occupied here. <laughs> we had our sofa recliner delivered today. Actually, it's a love seat. So, I was out there sitting in it a little earlier. It's really relaxing. Really firm. It's got all kinds of miracle mem memory, memory foam in it. So... All right, let's see what we got. It's still pretty wet, but I'm going to jiggle it around. Oh, yeah. See, now, if you want some movement, you can turn it this way and turn it that way. And it'll just run if it's got enough liquid on it. It'll just kind of run all over. It just depends on how you want to work it. It's up to you. It's your choice. Now that is kind of interesting. I like that. It also thinned it out a little bit more, so it'll dry a little bit better. I'm going to finish drying this, and I'll be right back. Okay, now let's say you want to have some water splotches on there to remove you do just a little bit of spraying <laughs> trying to hit your paper <laughs> oh but you let it soak in a little bit and then you pick it back up again and usually maybe i didn't leave it long enough i think it might have been it you have to leave it a little bit especially because i let it dry i'm looking at this one right down here that I've left on there a long time. But usually this is a technique. Uh, Tim Holtz does it a lot. And it's where you get all those nice splatters and stuff. It picks up the ink that's right on top of it. And usually all the way down. Oh well. I think I waited too long. I do see it. Oh yeah. You can really see it right along in there now. But it's... You might have to leave it on a little longer than I did. Usually after it's dried a good bit. Um, though he almost all the way dries and then he sprays. So it's kind of like a, a working technique. <laughs> so anyhow, that's how you do that. Either by spraying or the, the spouncing. Or however you call that. 
So next, what we're going to watch or see is how I did these little guys right here. Get these inks out of the way. And I think I used Vintage Photo. And I just kind of rubbed it like that to get the, the ink to go all the way over. Just so it wasn't stark white. I did not want stark white. Ooh, who wants that? <laughs> Unless you're wanting a crystal clean journal. I'm I'm into the distress anymore. I like grunge. I like distress. I do like pretty. I do pretty. <laughs> but not not as much. <laughs> Alright, and that's all I did there. And I'm going to show you what I used. Now I have this. It's a re-inker for vintage photo. And you can either, depending on if you want a really bold edge, you can go like that just by rubbing the uh, the tube against the edge. Or you can go at it another way. Let's just go ahead and use up the rest of what I got on here. Or you can take it and put a little dot there. And then use a little bit of water. So let's do that. And what you could do is you could run this through your water. And it's going to run up the side of your doily. I may have used too much ink. <laughs> oh, it's very bold. <laughs> but it, it will give you a nice kind of a, a look to it. There, this side needs it. That side needs a little bit more. And that side but yeah and you can see you've got a really nice dark burnt edge on it and if you want it a little bit on the inside just so it's not all samey samey you can do something like that where's my towel there and then you can get the rest of it off so it'll stop it but i like that that's really I really like how it it blended in right there. Now, if you wanted to use up the rest of your your ink, put a little bit of extra on there, and that's going to give us another color on our pieces here. That was really dark. <laughs> I got a big white spot here in the middle. Let's see if I can get it. Sort of. <laughs> okay, that's good. Gives it a little variation. And then you just wipe your wipe your tray down and it's ready to go back on the shelf. You can take it <laughs> to the shower if you want to, wherever you need to take it. So next we're going to start decorating our pieces. I have some uh, collage paper here that's entomology. It's got the really big butterfly on it. I've got this, which is um, some washi tape that's got the musical notes. Now, I am not musical. <laughs> I hate to say it. I can't sing. I can't dance, even. <laughs> uh, but uh, I do like to listen to it. I have got certain movies that I just love. Uh, what is that? Pitch Perfect? Oh, I love that one. So, the first one which I think it's, it's going to be maybe this one. No, maybe this, the darkest one I'm going to take. And we're going to do some, um, what do you call that? Uh, uh, collaging. <laughs> yeah, we're going to collage it. Since it's the darker one, I'm not too sure if anything else is going to show up as well on it. We got our doily for it. We have our pieces of paper here for it. I had a rose that was left out of the kit. And then I have this little piece of paper. And then I've got that with musical notes on it. And then I have some tea bag. So I thought we would use those. We might even throw in some of this gift tissue. I've got this as well that was left over. So you can use this and that. I gotta find me a glue stick. And I usually just use Elmer's. I like the disappearing purple so I can see where it's at. <laughs> but what we're going to do is we're just going to. And we're going to start ripping. I had to get me a, 
a thing to do all my um, gluing on here. So I'm going to do a little rip. Get us some little unevenness going here. And then we're going to come in from the side. Now you can do inking around the outside edge if you wanted. Um, I might do me some gathered twigs on the outside edge. Let's just see how it looks. I don't want that white showing, so that's mainly the reason I'm doing this. Okay, we're going to put us a little bit of disappearing purple on it. <laughs> now, the trick is when you use these least expensive glue, uh, glue sticks is put a lot of, of the goo on there. That's the way I've seen um, Gail Augustinelli do it. She really loads it down. Then I'm going to get another little piece here. Do a little bit of a rip on the bottom. You don't want any, anything just square. You, you always want to get a variation on it. So this is going to add in some of those stalks of that pretty neat um, plant that was in the digital. We'll go ahead and put our ink, <laughs> glue. <laughs> What is it, Rhoda? It's glue. Oh, we're doing it the wrong way. Sorry. <laughs> it's not a very big variation in color. That's the only thing. So, that's where you're going to put a few over top of it to give you a variation. We're just going to kind of rip it up like that. And... I've seen people do this all day long on their videos. <laughs> <laughs> I always try not to do it. I like to do a master board every now and then. And that's one thing I haven't done with you guys, except for the one with the tickets that time. Remember that? I did one with tickets. <laughs> it was fun. That was really different. <laughs> okay, we're going to put a little bit of doily on here. I think I'm going to come up. You can't even see that one type under there. Let's give him another little audition over here. Whoops. Okay. Let's go around the outside edge of that one. All right. And you can do as much or as little of this as you want. You just want to decorate it with a few layers. Okay. So we're going to come over here like that. And then we're going to... What else was I going to use on here? Oh, I do want the rose. I'm going to put a little doily. Let me do the doily first. And I think I'm going to put the doily about like right like that. So let me cut it. That's the easiest way. I put, yeah. I want uh, a little bit of something else right there. Hmm. Nope, we're going to use this one. Give us a little bit more. Up into the it. I may. Yeah. He had to move my car for them to uh, bring in the couch. Well, you don't have to. I can always walk out and get it. <laughs> oh gosh! Well, I got to go get my little kitten or snack. Okay, got her fed. <laughs> she already ran to the basement by the time I got out there, but I've I've trained her that if she comes in, she gets snackies. <laughs> Sometimes that's the only way you can get her in. So <laughs> it, it wasn't that she went out, but she knows what time of day it is. <laughs> and right now it's it's in the night where she would have came in from outdoors, so... She did more cookie. Okay. Now the thing is with doilies, see how that did? 
you might want to just use your paper to figure out where the doily is going to go and use this and do like that. Now you can do the glue, you know, the wet glue on them, but it takes forever. So I found out if you just use your glue stick and go over top of where the doily would go, it works just as good. So let's see. Yeah, there we go. And you can actually get in here with a, some kind of card and do your rubbing down to get a lot of that excess glue out from underneath of it. And then you can dot at it. Now, that <laughs> once it's not purple anymore, it's gone. <laughs> so hopefully that will happen for us here soon. Okay, so I kind of like that. Um... And I definitely want to have my rose here. So I'm going to cut that out real quick. Okay, I ripped me a little section of my gift, gift tissue off there. So I can set that aside. But I want to put a little bit of that on here. Uh, I feel like it needs it. It needs something to give it a little oomph. I've got this piece of music pa uh, paper. It's, it's thicker, so I'm going to definitely use uh, wet glue with that. We're going to put this gift tissue on with a little bit of glue stick. It's not as delicate as tissue or napkin is, but it's it's close. And I'm going to give you can actually see the background through it. But if you don't like it, you can still go over it with a little bit of a this and it'll dull those edges down and that white yeah see it kind of helped it i can go over with a little bit more i'm going to pull out my glue here and go on that actually i'm going to wait and do my i don't know why i'd want piano on there okay <laughs> we're going to go with some washi tape on here on the bottom edge if I can find where the washi tape begins. Feels like it's right there. It is. It's just hard to find. Now I'm going to put a little bit of this glue down here to keep it down. Now I have went with uh, Ground Espresso all around the outside edges and I scuffed the little white areas that was still on here. After uh, <laughs> we went through it the first time <laughs> with the uh, the ink smooshing. So I got that on there. And we'll just cut that down here in a minute. I want to put this on here since I need this as well. With some glue. Do, 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 do. And that one I was going to put about right here. And I'm going to put a little bit more of this, just a little, I think, down in here. Just kind of want to variate. Var variate? Is that a word? <laughs> variegate? <laughs> Give your background variety. How about that? <laughs> oh, I know I make up words all the time. <laughs> I really do. Okay, now we're going to do... The rows, and then I probably want to do the. I did cut out one of my butterflies, so he's ready to go. We got to get our rose with some glue on there. So, how's everybody doing for the <laughs> 2024? Have you remembered to write the <laughs> the right date on things? <laughs> and um. I'm going to uh, be using, I've heard uh, like Lorette Chandler and a few other people give the resolutions. And I really like Lorette's. It was using up what she already had. I'm going to do that this year because I've bought and bought. And I'm not, I think I said I was going to do that last year, but I don't think I held to it. <laughs> 
So this year I'm going to definitely try to use up what I've got. I should have enough of everything. Okay. I'm going to put my butterfly about right here. I think that's a good spot for him. You can still see the background. And he's coming off of the flower. I think he works in really well with those colors. Now what I want to do, I don't know that I'm going to use any more doily. Not, not that I know of. Hmm. Maybe I will. Let's go with a little bit more doily right there. I'm going to move my piece over here so I can... And then we're going to trim around the outside edge where we don't need any more of that. I need something else right there, I feel like. So we're going to put this doily down right there. Rub him on with our cord. Pick up some of our excess glue we don't need and I think she's done now we just got to trim it Woo! <laughs> don't want to let loose there okay oh no wonder look at that big old wad of glue <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> good thing we found that when we did all right I'm gonna trim the edge here and get all that excess off trying not to cut the edge of my envelope which is always a good thing okay let's put that over there I've got a little piece of washi out this side I need to trim off and then I have anything on the bottom just a tad okay let's see what that looks like now Yeah, I like that. You just want a little bit of a scene. And like I said, I went around the outside here with some of the Ground Espresso or just some kind of a ink. And you can put you a little saying right, right down in here. And I've got one here that came off of the butterfly uh, container. Or the... <laughs> it's here somewhere. The butterfly... Um, stamp pad from Hero Arts. Boy, <laughs> what is going on? Okay, so we're going to use a little piece of this here, and we're going to stamp it. I think this is something about butterfly kisses, butterfly wishes. It's one or the other. <laughs> it's one of those. Okay. So we're going to go inside a little bit so we can rip around the outside edge. Sending butterfly wishes. There we go. So we're just going to rip, rip, rip. Oh, oh, am I touching it too quick? I think it was. Got to be careful. Okay. Do us a little bit of inking there we go and we're going to get our piece and put on there and that one is ready to go now the only thing I would suggest is to take and get you a journal card and put on the inside of this and it's going to take care of um, this <clears throat> the rigidity of it you're gonna get it'll give you strength because it's kind of wiggly now so going in and out of the pocket you'll get strength from putting a, a strong journal card in there that's you know pretty hefty like a, a good card stock or one of your better uh, paper pads that kind of thing okay she's done that's our collage element of the day now let's see what else we can do <laughs> see what else now the lighter colored one, I was going to do the pretty um, blue napkin on. 
So, and it's got a butterfly on it, so we don't have to worry about that. Now, when you do napkins, you always want to have a little bit of tape of some type to pull the layers off. I've used one of these before. I think I'm just going to rip it because that's how I want it to be ripped. And then we'll pull the pieces off. Let's put that over there. And napkins. Uh, I didn't have napkins at one point, and I was asking people for them. Boy, do I have napkins now. I don't think I ever need another napkin for a while. All right, we're going to take, cut off that corner there. I don't like that. Or that. Get back here and start ripping. Now you may have to have just regular scotch tape. Because most of the time that works better. Let's see, I do another layer. Is there another layer? There may not be. Oh, yeah, there is. See, it's there. You can usually see through it. You know you're, you're down through the layers because you can see through the napkin. And that's all you want. Okay. That's good. Now, where do we want it? We want it right there because I, I got that really straight edge and I want to get rid of it. This is another episode where you're going to use your glue stick to do it for you. And trying to make sure where I need to go. Okay. Now I'm going to fill it in. There. Hopefully I've got enough on there. Let's go for it <laughs> before it dries. And then you go back over it with a straight edge. Always go outward so it doesn't wrinkle <laughs> that badly. <laughs> and then you really want to watch when you're piddling with it while it's still wet like this because you will rip it. I have done that umpteen times. Plus I'm just trying to get a little bit of that excess glue off. But I think I'll be alright. Ugh. It's sticky, but it'll it'll eventually go away. All right. Now, do we need anything else on there? I don't really think we do, except maybe a word. You know? I did want to use some of my doily. Where did it go? But then again, it could be where you just let this speak for itself on this side. You can see some of that mica spray I used on these. I didn't do that on the piece I showed you earlier. But the mica sprays are really pretty. And uh, we might do us a few stampings of butterflies on here. Let's do that. Oh. <laughs> I'm looking around trying to find them. Here we go. And I have quite a few. This is a Bow Bunny stamp. A butterfly, butterfly stamp. <laughs> Okay, and I want to find me a stamp block. Here we go. And we're going to pick us out a few butterflies. And I like this little guy because he looks like a monarch. And we're going to do them with what color? Okay, I hit the dew drops again. <laughs> And I'm, I found Potter's Clay and Sweet Plum. And I think I can see those colors working in here. Now, of course, Potter's Clay is going to be the Monarch one. So we're going to stamp it up pretty good. And then we're going to put a little butterfly going out that way. See how well it is. Oh, now, the only thing is with mica spray, it does not do very well with a stamp i didn't think about that but that's okay they can be uh, very mild or pale butterflies <laughs> is that a good word let me pick this one he's got a lot of surface on him so we're going to go with the sweet plum on this one 
Let's see if we do a little bit better on the stamp. Yeah, that's the only thing when you add the mica, your stamping takes a plunge. Okay. And we're going to go in this way with this guy. Leave it on there just a little bit longer. Yeah, much better, much better. Yeah, he he turned out a little darker than the other one. But, I mean, this is a pale, pale color scheme. So you don't need it to be that bright. All right, let's put these little butterflies. I'm going to probably take a bunch of these and go through my book page per page. Um, here's a little one called Thinking of You. And how about we use that? on the front. I don't know if I've ever used that before. And we're going to use black because it might stand out a little better. Okay. Thinking of you right down here. Try to be straight. <laughs> Get it straight, Rhoda. Get it straight. Okay. Yeah. That looks good. And if you needed to send this off to somebody, say you got it, <laughs> you can because you can write on that or you can put a label on that. And um, I've seen people, there's like some kind of movement going on now. The, what do they call that? The happy mail movement. I think that's what it's called. So... Anyhow, like I mentioned before, I had not um, inked around the outside edge of this. And I really think I want to. I used this for that gathered twig, so I'm trying to get some of that excess off. All right. Let's see how it's going to look with a little bit of vintage photo. I always like to frame stuff. And I think this will do it. Okay. Now, I have an idea for the doily. You know, I don't think we're going to get around to the the other one. Uh, but I'll tell you what, I'll stick it out because I think we're using just that collage paper on the other one, the other envelope. If you didn't mind that last video, and it was just over an hour, I'll go ahead and I'll do it again. And... Get this done real quick. And see, so you get in there where it's still got a little bit of the white showing, and you just kind of rub over it with whatever color you're going for here, and it does a good job. Okay, that one's done. Now, the, the doily, I believe, I'm doing back here. I'm just going to put it over the whole back and I'll cut that little excess off. So it needs to go like this. And if I want to come back in and put a big butterfly image of some type there, I can and I have a really great background. You know, I just reached up here and put that away and I needed it again. <laughs> Whoops. So here we go. Just going to rub that on there like that, and that's all I need. Now all i got to do is cut a little bit of that off. I can't wrap it around, I don't think. Yep, we're going to wrap it around. <laughs> we're going to wrap it around. Okay. There we go. That one's done. Next, okay, like I said, the collage paper is going to be on this last one, and this is this guy. And we have a doily with that one as well, which may or may not get used. But we want to get in here, and we want to get, it's got bugs and stuff on it, like <laughs> moths in it. But I want the butterfly. And there she is in all her glory. And this is the back side. So. 
I'm going to put it as far over to the left as I can. And I'll tell you how we're going to do this. We're going to get our ruler in here. And we're going to rip it. <laughs> Just going to rip it. Then we're going to get on the other side. And we'll rip it again. There we go. Now, that can get put back in the bottle later. And we're just going to cover our front with this butterfly. I know you're saying, well, you know, why would you want to do that? You know, don't want to leave it all away. You know, let's just go all the way. <laughs> let's just do it. All right. I know there's a lot here. It's getting covered up, but I think you may see it. I mean, it's all in that layering. You want to layer things, but you have to cover some stuff up to be considered a layer. And that's the thing that I don't do as well. Ugh. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go all the way over. Come all the way down. I got a big goo, goo of glue there. What happened? All right. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go for it. Before it dries on me. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah. So you want to try to do from the inside out if at all possible. Okay, now we want to cut this off and we're going <laughs> got stuff everywhere. We want to cut that off and we're going to ink it a little bit. Let's see. Let me get a little bit off these edges. Right there. And right there. Okay. I don't think I had it on the other side I needed to trim. <laughs> Please work with me. Let me get some of this excess <laughs> glue stick off of here. All right. Now, I'm going to help hide it with... <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> I'm going to help hide it with this vintage photo. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to work it along this top edge and see if we can work it in. See where it doesn't shine so brightly? <laughs> Shine, shine, shine. And I think I'm just going to go over the whole thing. Might leave a little bit of white showing just to have contrast, you know. Okay. And you can actually come in here with some kind of a, a coloring pencil or a uh, um, those distressed crayons, things like that give you a little bit of extra color. Now let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if I can get a little bit of dark on here. I don't know if I need it. But just for variation. <laughs> Am I wiggling ya? This thing isn't twitching, is it? No, we're good. It must have been my storage that was full. So it just, it, it goes haywire on me when it happens like that. Okay. So that part is good. Now, I'm going to get some distressed crayons and we'll see what we can do with those. Okay, I've got a few of my distressed crayons. And we are going to put a little water right there. And I'm going to dip my finger in it. <laughs> so, um... What you do is you'll take a little bit of your water, I mean, uh, your distressed crayon, and we want their wings to be about the same, so we're going to do like that. Wiggle like that. 
And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to see if I can spread it. Oh, yeah. It's spreading real good. So that's going to give you a little variation in color in case you didn't have it or want, if you wanted it but didn't have it. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's what I was saying. Okay. You don't want to have too much water. So we're going to do the top wings with that and we'll do the bottom ones with a little bit of the, is this one going to show? I think this is antique linen. I'm pretty sure that one's antique linen. You can't really see that against here, so I think we might have to go with another one. Uh, we have a gray, we have a black and a white. Let's put a little bit of this dark one on there. Oh, well, that's a little bit too dark. Well. I thinned it out. Maybe they blended. It's not as dark as I thought. Okay. But we will do the dark right through his body. <laughs> okay. Ye howdy. See if I can put a spot. A spot there. A spot there. Okay. I think that's good. I like these crayons. It could be we use a little bit more. Let's use this one a little bit more to go in a couple more spots on the page. Just so it's all around. Okay. And that's going to age that edge a little bit. See, I, I love these crayons. I don't play with them enough. I don't. I don't know why. Okay. I know there's different ways to use them. That's usually the way I do it. So I'm going to do something like that. Just so there's something. <laughs> and the more water you put on it, though, the, the more it, it fades out. So if you think you messed up, you really don't. <laughs> See? It kind of just kind of blended it out. So that's, that's neat. Okay. Let me do a little bit more on identification. Down through here. All right. That's all we're going to do with the crayons. Now, what I wanted to do is use the doily. Now, this is, yeah, this is the opening on that side. So, I'm wondering about using the doily here and then using it on the other side. So, <laughs> I'm determined to use these doilies. I wonder... No, that one won't work. I was going to see if I could use that one and not have to waste this one. Let's see what we can do. Yeah. Da, da, da. I'm just trying to cover up my hard edge there, you know. That's right there. I'm trying to hide that. So that's why I'm going with this route. Okay, let's trim that off real quick and go for the other edge. Okay, got that one. Now the next one. And, okay, that right there. That works, that works. Works for me. How about you? Well, I really want to thank everybody for coming to visit. I'm going to slip that in here because next on the list is showing you what we got done. <laughs> what we got done. Okay. Now, I do see that I've got a really big... <laughs> difference there so i'm going to get in here and see if i can ink that down a little bit yeah that helped <laughs> it was just too white on those corners 
Okay. And if you see where you haven't got enough of the glue stick on some edges of your doily, like I see this little piece right here, just get in there with some of your wet glue and just stick you a little bit under there and that'll take care of it. There she goes. <laughs> All fixed. All right. Let me get them out and give them their little fashion show. <laughs> All right. The first one we did was this one. That had the real dark background on it. And as you can see, all you got to do is go in there and put you a little bit of extra ink where you don't like that white showing. There we go. That did it. And we have our rose, which is part of our digital. We have Sending Butterfly Wishes. We have the musical notes here and here. And our doily. Can't see that doily. I buried it, so I did that. But you got a little glitter. <laughs> and we have another butterfly. And there's nothing on the back side. I may end up putting the rest of this doily back here, right there. And I probably will. I just don't I don't want to waste it. I've got a shorter one over here as well I need to do something with. So we got that one done. We got this one done, which is pretty. Isn't that pretty? You got a hydrangea here. I know that's what that is. With a butterfly. And then you have, thinking of you, a couple of really pale little butterflies. And then we have our doily on this side, which more than likely I'll come back around and probably just stamp another big old butterfly on it. And then we have this one, which is our collage paper. We did some distressed crayons. We put doily up here and there's nothing on the back, but that doesn't always have to have anything on the back. And like I told you, you want to put you some... Um, like cardstock weight or uh, scrapbook paper that's a good weight inside of these so you'll slip them in and out of your uh, pockets really easy so everybody have a great great night it's night for me <laughs> and i'll see you again soon Bye bye